Hey, what's up? It's Xavier Jones. I'm a YouTube content creator, stand-up comedian, writer, uh, straight out the west side of Lawton. Uh, I always wanted to perform something, but a nigga can't sing. You know what I'm saying? I could never rap. I wasn't that cold at sports, but I could always make somebody laugh and shit, so. I've always been a pretty goofy dude, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, since you were young, yeah. Um, how did you get into stand-up? Uh, when I was in college, um, me and my roommate Tony, we was uh, like, we always used to make these YouTube videos and shit. And uh, instead of going to class, we just sit at home doing that. And then we saw um, they are having an open mic competition, so we entered that, and then that was our first time doing it. And how'd that go? Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, it went pretty good. I ain't, I ain't gonna put Tony out there, but I'm, I'm gonna just say mine went pretty good. He was, he was straight. Uh, I think it, it's a lot different, you know, like actually getting in front of the crowd and you getting that feedback immediately. Because if you're not funny, they're gonna let your ass know, you know what I'm saying? So, but uh, I don't know. I, I could never do it. Like my videos weren't that funny, but I, I definitely watch a lot of people's. Uh, probably Eddie Griffin. Yeah, Cat Williams. Great. Yeah. Tell us a little, what do, you, what do you like so much about their, their work? What about it? Uh, Cat, Cats is crazy. Like, I was just watching some shit that he dropped like 10 years ago last night. And it's like, I know all the words and shit, but it still had you rolling. You know what I'm saying? So, longevity. Yeah. If you could do a show with any comedian, what would you pick? Probably Dave Chappelle. Cause I mean the Chappelle, Chappelle show is a goat, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like he only had two seasons, but like that shit still go crazy. You can put that on right now, and like, yeah. Uh, I listen to some hype shit, like on the way to the to the performance. I listen to like the baby or something, something to get me real hype. It, it almost feels like like a football game or some shit. But like you about to ask a girl out, like I start hyperventilating and shit. So I gotta like kind of hype myself up and then calm down. You know? So that feeling when you had your first show ever, um, I think you just said something a little bit about it, but what, what was the feeling when you first got on stage? Were you? Uh, I, was, I was shook, you know what I'm saying? I was shook until I got the first joke off and I heard everybody laugh and I was like, okay, I can do this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when it, have, have you ever had the feeling kind of like, uh, damn, what if no one laughed? Like when you're on stage and you crack a joke and no one, it's not the same, it's not the, um, the reaction you thought you'd get when yeah. you told the joke, yeah. how, how's that? Uh, it's weird because when I'm like writing stuff down, I'm like, this joke is going to hit, this one is probably not. And it's always like opposite. The ones I think, you know, going to hit real hard, they don't usually. And then the other ones are just kind of like throwaways, those ones that everybody loves. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and what, what's the feeling when you do make people like, um, when you make someone laugh, you know what I mean? Yeah. When the whole crowd starts laughing, what was that feeling like? Uh, that, that shit's dope. It's like you controlling the whole room. You know what I'm saying? Everybody looking up at you, waiting on what you're going to say next. Uh, I fuck with it. What's your favorite show you've done so far? Or? Uh, the last one I did, I did a, a four minute set at uh, the Backline Comedy Club. And uh, I, th I just think that was the best one I did. You know what I'm saying? Like I was I was getting like consistent hard laughs like pretty much the whole time. Uh, the R. Kelly joke I told, uh, it, it, was, it was pretty funny. Um, basically it was just, it was just a, uh, uh, so it's a story, I was in the strip club with my cousin or whatever, and we arguing about, you know, why you can't, why he don't want to listen to R. Kelly, and like, how can you do that? And I was like, the same way I can take a dollar bill with a former slave on it, on it, and put it between the black girl's butt cheeks, and I think, yeah, but that, that one went crazy. Um, so when, when me and Tony first started doing it, we weren't getting a lot of views, because our videos were like super long, and you know how the internet is now, like, people's attention span only like a minute long. So instead I'll just like, you know, instead of having putting the whole set up there, I'll put like a minute or two. You know, I'll let you click on it if you want to or whatever. Instead of trying to give you a whole ten minutes full of content. But I'm actually trying to start like um some animation and stuff like that. Okay. So when were you planning on starting that? Um I was trying to get uh, my goal is to get at least one done by the end of the year. You know, a short story or something. I like um, pretty much all aspects of like uh, cinematography. Like I want to, you know, eventually get behind the camera and start directing and writing stuff, stuff like that. Okay. Um, with your rights, tell us a little bit what you plan doing with the writing part. 
Um, actually, like I've been ever since I was in like high school, I've, I've always like written like short stories or skits or stuff like that. But like for the animation I'm talking about, like I got stories written down for like a kind of like a TV show, like mm -hmm. a, a short like proud family type joint. So uh, I plan on doing you know something with that pretty soon. Actually, I, I want to be in a serious movie. I want to be one where I'm like crying and shit. You know okay, so you want to be, you don't want to have any, but like. Nah, because every, like, everybody that knows me knows I'm like real goofy, but I'm saying like they see that, they're like, okay, he, you know, he doing a little something. He, yeah, he got some range. Like yeah. Um, I'm actually linking up with this dude uh, named Lavetti Vegas. He's in Omaha. Uh, I met him on the first show I did out there, and uh, he, he's making moves. Like, he's out in. He had two shows in Atlanta this weekend, you know, like he's going all the way across the country with this, so hopefully I can link up with him and, you know, get something popping. I mean, honestly, I just love this shit. Like, I, I definitely do it for free. I mean, if niggas trying to pay me Netflix money, you know what I'm saying, I ain't going to say no. But, like, yeah, I just, like, I, I definitely have a lot of fun with it. Um, on Instagram at X, uh, the number two, and then fully F-O-O-L-Y. Uh, and then the rest is just my name, Xavier Shakur Jones, on Facebook. I don't really got, I don't really get on Twitter like that. Uh, YouTube is uh, Xavier Jones. Can I be the one to make you smile? Can I be the one? Hey, what's up? This is X, and I'm giving you the okay.